all right guys they're playing camille top lane and i'm gonna teach you guys exactly on how you guys can play this champ right now so what you want to run is grasp shield bash bone plate on flinch biscuits and cosmic and then we also have a dorn's blade and then we also have ignite and tp so this game we're playing against a renekton which is a very interesting matchup honestly it can go both ways but ultimately it's very winnable for us Did not get the grass proc since I didn't start with it. But maybe we can still fit it in somewhere. Oh, we went back at the right timing. I'm going to see if I can cheese him directly level 2. Oh, he's got that first though. Okay. Kind of decent. I think we can probably get him like straight away level 3. We gotta make sure we maintain the uh, the grass proc because that gives us a better trading. Yep, got him. Cheese him early. So this is like what a lot of people don't really know, um, but gr like grasp Camille. The strength of Camille in general is that you can have good short trades, and if you go grasp, there's not really a champion that can beat you. Um, in the short trades, because you have your passive that it, that helps you. There you go. Uh, let's go with a TP. But yeah, you have your uh, passive that helps you, grass proc, your Q is like a longer range form, and your E is there to jump, and you have your W for sustain. So you have like pretty much every kind of ability needed to like getting like really good trades. Camille's powerful, man. Again, we go for a trait. I can probably fit in like another all in. Another grass proc. So we keep staying in combat with the wave so that we can keep having the grass proc ready. And now we just simply maintain what we have here. All right. I'm going to start pressuring the wave as well. He can't move up at all because I can directly all in with using my jump. They have a Ramus which can gank my lane. But I'm not really scared about him. Ooh, he's not using E. Okay. Nice. All I need right now is simply one dive, and that's it. Also, I need to keep my grass brock for the for the dive, so. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We have to dive him. We can definitely do it, but we have to be careful with how we do it. Because if we st get stunned under tower, I'm probably going to die instantly. Yeah, got him. I think I can probably get more. Perhaps, maybe we can't, but... Hmm. Well, it's kind of close. I can't kill him, technically. I don't know. It's getting very close. I have a problem though. There's a Renekton on the way. Yeah. Right. 
I have my W in 50. Okay. That'll do the trick. He's gonna die to Zack and Trent. So, first things first, the build that we're going to run this game um, is going to be a Sheen, also a Longsword. Um, we're going to go with the Defined build this game. Um, in case you don't know about building at all um, with Camille, there's like two builds currently that you're using. There's the uh, Trinity Force build. You're using this build against anything other than tanks. And Defined Sunder is basically the, the item that works against whatever you play against, including tanks as well. If you're kind of like unsure about building on Camille, I would I would always recommend Define. But if you have, you know, if you understand more about building, I would actually also suggest going Trinity Force from time to time. It's a really good item for splitting. Fits like really well in the champ as well, depending on what you're up against. Nice, let's put war down. Also, uh, I don't know how to say that. Sparrow? Hey, thank you for the subprime. Thanks, man. Thank you for subbing and supporting me, man. Alright, so we're back in the... In the matchup. Got a ward in the tribush. Nice. Still uh, gotta be careful about the jungle. That won't change. Oh, I have my passive, so that doesn't really matter. Took a little bit too much damage, but... It's alright. I have my TP now too. Locked the damage. Also, we got an ultimate out. Couldn't ask for more, to be honest. That's actually kind of nice. I'm going to see if I can drag the wave a little. Maybe pretend like I'm backing. Wait a second. Turns out that uh, he is going back to base. So that's going to push me ahead a little bit. Um, the reason why is because like the wave, I dragged it. So that means that the wave is going to shove to me. Uh, meaning that he's going to lose even more XP right now. Like, that's great. That's really good. It's going to fall behind a lot. If you ever, like, get into a situation where you know your opponent's going to go back to base, I always highly encourage you to drag the wave because by doing it, um, this is what happens as a result, right? You drag the wave into the brush and then you backport. And your wave is always going to be in your favor by doing it. It's a, it's a very advanced technique, right? If you're not very good with laning yet, this is something you learn later on. But if you understand like how it's being done and, and, and you understand like how, how to do it and what it's supposed to do, you're using it probably almost every single game. Got him. So now we get back in lane. Man, Camille has been like my main, like my secondary main for decades at this point. And it, you know, can't say enough of how good this champ is. Like recently, Camille's been getting back in the meta. She's been very underrated for a while, but shortly she's been getting back in the meta since she got buffed like, I think like about a month ago or something like this. I don't know anymore. It's been very recent. But yeah, people finally starting to pick her up again. She's always been strong. She's always been good, but she's very underrated. What many people think about Camille. It's not love, yeah, she's back in the meta. But the sharpness of the truth. People are starting to pick her up again. Ooh, clean Q right there. Maybe I can get true damage in. Ooh, nice. We got a ultimate off. Okay, that's great. 
We gotta be careful about Ramus though. Okay. I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> it took a little bit too much damage. <laughs> You know, originally I was thinking about, like, ulting Renekton so I could cancel out the, uh, the turret, but he died beforehand, so I couldn't cast my ultimate. There's no way for me to do it. So, I got a little bit, you know, I backed off a little bit too slow because of that. Could have just been alive now. I think I'm going to TP. Because the wave is in a, in a bad spot. I'll fix it. Okay. Come on, walk up to the wave. Do it. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. See if I can maybe get some plates here. I bargained my soul. Yeah, we can chase that down. Pretty nice roam from Tren. Now we take some plates. We're definitely getting every single plate before it expires. Great. Got all of them. And now we simply shove the wave out and then we reset. I might even get this one too. Okay, we got it. So, now we're going to reset, actually. Wait a second. We have Zack on the way here. Hmm, I need my abilities. Um, yeah, we didn't have Zack following up here. Now that kind of sucks. I don't think Zack realized that I was going to go back in because... Did I ping for that, actually? I did, right? Did I ping to go in? Eh, my bad. This was definitely uh, a free kill if Zack moved up along with me. Alright, let's go steel caps. Or what we can also do is go for loose city boots and then we go for uh team out. I'll show you why. You guys say no? Okay, I believe you. <laughs> That's my bad. Yeah, this game is looking really good. It's gonna be a very hard snowball game. Another step on the march of progress. Renekton is really far behind. There's no way for him to get back. Like, unless we start inting, of course, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, it seems like he also died by uh, Trin. Shelf out the next wave, and then we also go for jungle camps. The only thing I never like about playing Camille, there's this one thing that I just never enjoy about Camille. It's the attack speed. Sure, you can go Alacrity and all the stuff, but in general, it's just really bad. You're like giving one thing in for something else. The wave clear is just kind of bad, but yeah, that's really it. Like, that's why we need to have Tiamat, otherwise it's unplayable.
Like, at least you can also fit in a combo, so it doesn't feel too bad. Let's go bottom. We're going to be cleaning up this place here. If Zack has a passive, then there's something we can do. Stuck under tower. Couldn't be any better. Okay. Yo, bro, I was stuck under tower. I took so much damage from that turret. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I think I can TP bottom straight away. I have my... Uh, I got my TP up. If she keeps pushing, I can just kill her. Uh, she's going back, okay. If there's a team fight on Drake, I can also TP for it. And um, I'm pretty sure we can win the team fight. I'm super strong. Ooh, we got that Yumi. Nice. Having a Yumi is a dream coming true. I have my TP up, so we're going to prepare some stuff here. Yes, team fight. He already died. I can catch him. Maybe there's more? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not going to risk that stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not going to do it. Four. Well, I did kill him, but I also died for it. <laughs> Where's that sudden burst coming from anyway? Oh yeah, wait, it's the turret, of course. I took like I took eleven hundred and fifty-two damage from the turret. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. So I think what would be a, a great idea, honestly, is going chainsword because we have to cut healing from Renekton. Um They don't have a lot of healing though, so it's not needed. Has been slain. Has been well, yeah, I'm gonna go for dead stance. It's gonna be slightly better for me. In the long run, it's gonna help more than uh, that chainsword ever will this game. Okay, let's see if there's a red buff. Nice. Something else here? Well, we can stay very patient. Oh, Renekton apparently is on the way. Hmm. 
So they're coming from here. Zack is already on the move. I wonder if they knew about it. I wonder, did they know about this? Like, have I been waiting this long just to get trapped? I don't know. They all jumped to me at the same time. The exact same frame. <laughs> Here. I don't believe that it's been awarded because they took so long to prepare this fight. I don't know. It seems so weird. I'm not sure if I should believe this. I don't know. I think it was just coincidence. They just happened to all they they all three of them just walked in there by by chance, I guess. My skills eliminate the chaos of built over. Alright. Got him. Thank you. I'd say worth it. Nice. Oh man, that Zack is close to unkillable, dude. This guy's thinking so much. Couldn't really do anything, unfortunately. At least get the blue. Alright, we're, we're gonna grab the death stance, and I think I'll also go for stopwatch. So we can tank up the combo if needed. Oh, I still need a bit more. Alright, time to go Drake. What's up? We win that fight for sure. Nah, not worth fighting for. Oh, he actually... What? He kills people? <laughs> okay. Alright. Got him. Like, I'm just playing around my Q, the biggest strength. My Q does the most damage, so if it's on cooldown, I don't go in. We have not a camp. We take that red buff. There you go. Hmm, that's a Ramus right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, not really worth ulting, to be honest. Maybe a Renekton's gonna show up? Oh, it's Auction showing up. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> that was such a good fight, man. <laughs> that was great, man. That was great. A lot of risk I took. I took a lot of risk, man. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, my team can get turned now. I love the Q mechanic on Camille. There's so much cool stuff you can do with the Q, guys. I love this mechanic, dude. It just fits so well with the, with E. You can, there's so much cool stuff you can do. Yeah, let's... um. um I want to go for... This item. Nah. Not worth it. I'm going Steric's Gage. It's going to... It's gonna do better here. Oh, I decided to run all the way back. This time it didn't work out. <laughs> it's okay. Nice. The game is over. My team is ending the game. Yep. It's over. Hey, this is Camille Top. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.